Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached on 781-380-8888. Hope you're having a super day. Gold breaking down. Uh, the next support level is at 1607. As we indicated to our viewers at home, I suggest strongly that you lay out of the gold market for a while. If you want some specific trading ideas, we'll be glad to give them to you. We've been trading this market down as well. So we think that uh, there are significant trading opportunities, um, but if you're not in the business all the time, uh, you know, it might be a tough time to make money in gold. Uh, I've been having a blast uh, looking at the Russian uh, fake democracy situation. Um, <clears throat> Putin now has gotten somebody into the race uh, to, to split the vote. Uh, you know, that's an old Massachusetts tactic. You know, uh, when my dear friend uh, Larry DeCaro was running for statewide office, and in those days, uh, ethnicity was more important than it is today, and he was an, is an Italian man of great consequence, and uh, his opponent put an Italian man with a similar-sounding name in the race. So it's good to know that uh, the old tricks of Massachusetts politics uh, travel all the way around the world. In addition, I must say in that spirit that I have the utmost admiration for Karl Rove. Uh, you know, if you don't get a chance, take a look at his video, The Republicans Are Running Against Elizabeth Warren here in Massachusetts, where you know, she's the woman who's been in the forefront of fighting big banks and stuff, and they make it look like she's the one who's been uh, a, a tool of the banks and been opposed to the needs of the regular person. A complete reversal based utterly on lies. Uh, and, you know, again, in the Massachusetts spirit of chicanery, uh, I like that. And I assume most people are going to realize it's just chicanery. Uh, secondly, you know, while the gold market is trading down over the next uh, little while, you know, the turn of the year will bring a tremendous opportunity in gold for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, we believe that a lot of the gold selling is by people that have had gold for a long time. And as a consequence, if you have $300 or $500 gold, selling it at $1,600, $1,700 uh, may seem like a really good idea, and we can't say we object to that. Uh, secondly, uh, liquidity demands, that is answering margin calls, uh, is a part of the factor here. Lastly, um, many money managers who've had terrible years, the only sunny spot is their gold. They believe they're going to have significant redemptions uh, at the end of the year and going into the first of the year, and so they're building up piles of money to meet their exemptions. Uh, secondly, the Chinese have been buying gold through Hong Kong, and uh, and at the uh, they bought 85.7 tons in the month of October, which is up 50 percent from September, and 40 times higher than year to year. So uh, October 2010, uh, they bought approximately 2.2 tons of gold. Last October, 85.7 tons. <clears throat> and of course, the Chinese New Year uh, comes toward the end of January, so we're quite optimistic. And I'm not even going to talk about the Eurozone Treaty deal difficulties because we told you all about all that before it happened because <laughs> It is, in fact, inevitable that the, uh, that the euro falls. Uh, so uh, this is Arnie Waters. We're see oh, by the way, we're seeing the euro trend toward our level of 120. People made fun of us, breaking down below 130. Uh, we think the euro is going to be down off 120. So we think this is a great time uh, to be positioning your gold. We've also got some terrific, or we think they're terrific, fixed income ideas. Uh, if your risk tolerance is a, a little bit lower. So please give me a call on 781-380-8888. Have a great day.